In this video, we will look at the code G68 Nibbling Park. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. As we continue our look at patterns available to us, in this video we will be discussing G68 Nibbling Arc. We can define G68 as follows. On an arc of radius i, whose center is either the present position or a point designated by G72, an arc with angle k is nibbled with a pitch q using a punch diameter p, starting at a point with an angle j in relation to the x-axis. The parameters for G68 are I, J, K, P, Q. Before we get into the details of G68, we have to define the differences between the terms punching and nibbling for the purposes of this course. There are two different modes on the machines, punching and nibbling. So far, everything we have seen was in the punching mode. This means the striker pushes the punch through the material and comes back up to finish its cycle. Once at the top position, a signal is given for the sheet to be moved to the next position. Once the material is moved, the striker descends again. On older machines with a clutch and brake system, the clutch would engage only when the sheet is finished its positioning for the next hole. In nibbling mode, the clutch is continuously engaged which means that once the striker completes its cycle, it starts another one without waiting for the material to be positioned. This is a way to punch faster, but there are limits. Because the striker cycles continuously, there is a limitation on the distance the material can be moved before the punch hits the material again. This is all dependent on the machine's axis speeds. With the introduction of the Vipros machines and continuing with present day machines, ram control is used to control the ram movement. No longer is there any clutch and brake system, and therefore the speed advantage is negligible when in nibbling mode. For compatibility purposes in programming, the G68 code has remained the same and still has its limitations. Let's break this down. Pi is the radius of the arc, J is the starting angle, K is the moving angle, P is the tool diameter, Q is the nibbling pitch. If we look at this example, we see that there's an arc with a center point of X5, Y3. The radius is 3 inches, the starting angle is 45 degrees, and the total arc is 90 degrees. The tool used is point 0.375 in station 210. If we want to use G68, we must consider the first limitation. The material thickness must not be greater than 0.125 or 3.2 millimeters. The thicker the material, the more friction on the tool. This means it may slow down the tool from exiting the material. We don't want the material to move while the punch is still in the material. The second limitation is Q, which is the pitch. The center to center of the hits should be a minimum of the material thickness and must not exceed the limits for your machine. Each machine has a maximum nibbling pitch. The value basically is the maximum distance the material can be moved between cycles of the ram. Each machine has a maximum nibbling pitch. That value basically is the maximum distance the material can be moved between cycles of the ram in nibbling mode. For example, an Aries 245 has a maximum nibbling pitch of 0.236. For a Pega 357, it's 0.315. For all newer machines like Vipro, CM, AE, etc., the maximum nibbling pitch is 0.315 or 8 millimeters. Your machine manual will indicate the maximum nibbling pitch for your machine. Let's go to Punch Sim and write a program. G72, X5, Y3 G68 I3 which is a radius of the arc J45 which is a starting angle Q45 
K90, which is the total angle to be nibbled. P minus 0.375, which is the tool diameter. Depending on the sign of P, we can offset to the inside or outside of the arc. A zero value will punch on the line without any offset. Q, 0 0.100, which is the pitch from center to center of hits. Let's simulate our program. So how do we choose the pitch value? We know it should be a value between the material thickness and the maximum nibbling pitch of the machine. The smaller the value, the more hits it will take to punch the arc. This means more wear on the tool and a longer punching time. On the other hand, the scalopite will be smaller and therefore have a better finish. You can see the difference when we change the Q value. The number of hits changes as well as the punching time. Something to note, if we need to nibble a full circle, we may end up with a loose slug on the table. If that is the case, we should start the arc at 45 or 90 degrees, and use M00 on the next line to stop the machine so we can remove the slug. So what do we do if our material is more than 0.125 or 8 millimeters? How about if we want a pitch greater than the maximum nibbling pitch for our machine? Well, that will be the topic of our next video. That covers G68 Nibbling Arc. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.